Lisa Unger is back. Here is her latest novel, Last Girl Ghosted, a spine-tingling new page turner about one woman's internet dating match gone horribly wrong. And then it's a, what I'm told, a cat and mouse game of obsession, love, vengeance that follows. And Lisa joins us now to tell us more. Oh, good to see you, Lisa. Great to see you, Carly. Thanks for having me on. I got it in my hands. I cannot wait to read. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> Is it still exciting for you when like they actually like start printing and like you have absolutely. the actual hard copies? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, I, I've been writing since I was a kid. I never wanted to do anything else with my life. And, uh, and so Last Girl Ghosted is my 19th novel. And every single time it feels exactly like the first time, you know, the joy and the excitement and the gratitude and, you know, the ha holding that like finished book in your hands, you know, yeah. after being with your characters, like for a year or longer, you know, trying to make the right best book that you can write. And, um, and yeah, and it always just feels super exciting and just like, wow, I can't still yeah. can't believe it. Uh, so our executive producer, uh, also Lisa, uh, she was texting me that she was like, you have to read it. It's so good. <laughs> where did the inspiration, where did this kind of idea spark or when or how long ago? Yeah, so it was a while back and I was uh, having a conversation with a young friend of mine and she was talking about her experiences online dating. And she was saying how, you know, there's all of a sudden there's just like this endless pool of people and, you know, it's just like a picture on the screen and you can swipe and swipe and swipe and it's the next one and the next one and the next one. And she says, you know, how can you ever know if you pick the right person? And then she said something else which really stayed with me was, you know, she said, and then if somebody shows up up in your life and they're not what you expected from what you saw on this dating app then there's no real tie to that person and it's a you know it's just so easy to ghost them to just kind of walk away and never see that person again and so i just you know that idea kind of really stayed with me and that was the seed for last girl ghosted uh, I can imagine so many storylines uh, from, from yeah. what may happen here right <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have um, two uh, great events, kind of Q&A and, and a chance for you to talk more about like what we're doing now. I want you to invite everybody out because uh, the first one is tonight. Tonight, yes, at Tombolo Books in St. Pete, which is one of my one of my favorite stores in the area. Um, mm -hmm. And it is going to be uh, at, at seven o'clock tonight um, and it should be just a wonderful event uh, with Colette Bancroft, who is the uh, Tampa Bay Times book critic. And we always have such great conversations. And so that should be really fun tonight. And um, there's going to be uh, treats and uh, snacks and all sorts of great stuff. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. And then on Thursday at Oxford Exchange, this is my other favorite store <laughs> in the area. You're like us. You have so many favorite. Uh, I do. And I'm so lucky. We're so go. lucky here with that. Like we have so many, just, we have yeah. just these two beautiful, great independent stores. It's like, I'm so grateful for them. So Oxford Exchange on, on Thursday, uh, with Roxanne Wilder, we'll be chatting. We'll be chatting there at the Champagne Bar, which seems like a good place to talk about things uh absolutely <laughs> uh hey we probably have about a minute left um how are you doing these days i mean do you feel like um because i feel like we we chatted with you maybe at the beginning kind of the the maybe the start of the pandemic i mean what is this kind of change and everything in the world done for your writing and and your creative uh process lisa yeah you know i mean for me like i know a lot of my writer pals have um, you know, really struggled over the last year creatively. But for me, it's always been, uh, writing's always been kind of an escape hatch. You know, it's where I go to metabolize darkness. And so I did a lot of writing during the pandemic. And Last Girl Ghosted was a book that I wrote during the pandemic. It's not a pandemic book, but, you know, now rereading it, looking back on, um, on the story and how it was influenced by all the sort of darkness and chaos in the world, I could definitely see, I can definitely feel that energy in the book so you know and how will it, will it affect the work moving forward you know that remains to be seen you know i'm such an organic writer yeah. so we'll just have to see how it how it comes out in the work later but yeah i mean obviously the world is always exerting its influence on the work 
Well, Lisa, it's always such a treat when we uh, get a little bit of time with you. We know how busy you are. Uh, best of luck. Uh, again, Last Girl Ghosted out now. And um, we'll put details on uh, those events, too, on our website. But I know people can follow you along on social media and your website, too. Right, Lisa? Yes, definitely. LisaUnger.com. You can get all your tickets and um, yes. schedule for all my events right there. All right. Sounds good, Lisa. Thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Carly.